basically we got uh, just some cheapo scope rings at Walmart. Um, we're going to take this, mount it on the rail, and so I'm going to have, I'm going to take the tops off, mount it on the rail, put a piece of flat stock aluminum across here. I'm going to use this piece to go across these rails, and I'm going to drill a hole in there so we can put a bolt into the bottom of his camera, and he can mount his camera on the top of his AK. Now being that this is Delta 1, what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to dry test fit this on one of his favorite guns ever. This is a G&G &G combat machine. This is all plastic. It's like a $140 uh, cheapo gun that I use for like doing experiments and stuff. So I know he's loves he loves G and G's. So I figured we'd honor him by uh, building his rig on this gun for him. All right, so I found the drill bit size that the uh, that the threads will go through. All right, so you can use just a regular hand drill. I have a little drill press here. These are the screws that came with it. I'm just going to use these first until I know everything's good, and then I'll countersink the uh, other screws in there. Now I need to mark the other side. I'm just going to mark each side of it with the utility blade. So what I'm doing now putting the countersink bit in. So what I'm doing, this is what I did, countersunk it, and I take my screw like this and hold it up backwards so I know it fits, and now that screw will fit flush when I put the foam on there. So we got three more to go. Go ahead and leave this one loose.
I'm going to leave them both loose until I have And I think what I'll do is I'll put Loctite on these screws so this doesn't come loose. So it's just trial fit. All right, so um, I got one side painted and I went and looked at the video. Uh, I talked to Delta One and the camera has the hole mounted in the center and a little bit far forward. So I marked on here on the plate um, where it's at and I'm going to drill the quarter inch hole for the quarter twenty threaded bolt to go through the plate into the camera that holds the camera onto the mount. Now, the hole isn't real clean where it, where it came out. So I'm just going to take, this is the countersink bit. I'm just going to do this by hand. Take some of those edges off of there. All right, so I'm going to mount the plate on here and then I'm going to paint the top. But before I do that, I'm going to take the one of the screws and I'm going to put some I know where my hat and thing is. blue Loctite on there. I'm going to leave these loose until I have them all in there. Now that I have all these screws in there, tighten these up. I might want to switch to a better screwdriver. This is a smaller. So there's the, uh, and just shoot the paint on the top. Not the most ideal conditions. There's the mount. All I have to do now is mount the foam on the top of it and uh, we'll send it off to Delta One just some craft foam it's kind of thin and it has a sticky back on it and the last step we're going to do is we're going to set this on the foam and then draw a line around it and where the hole is and I'm going to cut inside the line about an eighth of an inch this is what we're left with. There's the hole and then the lot line. And I want to cut inside of it. So if you can see this, I'm going to go just about here when I cut it. 
that this is going to sit right on here. Like that. It's probably too dark for you to see that. But I give it a nice professional look here. Oh, it looks kind of nice to see the screws too. I need to go find some packing tape and wrap this baby up really good. So, off to find some packing tape. Maybe some chicken wire. So, something. So he can't just cut through it. You think chicken wire? I don't want him to mess up his family knife though. Maybe I'll just wrap it up. Then I'll do chicken wire. Then I'll put it in a box. Something like that.